welcome back to Laura V Beauty. On today's makeup tutorial, we will be doing our first New Year's Eve makeup tutorial for 2013, 2014. And I'm gonna try to do all my New Year's Eve makeup tutorials from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. I'm completely obsessed with this palette. I got it for Christmas and I decided to do my new, my, what am I say? My Christmas day makeup from it and all my friends and family were obsessed with it. So they were like, you need to do this for New Year's Eve. And well, here I am. So I'm gonna try for all my New Year's Eve tutorials to be from this palette. Cause like I said, I'm completely obsessed. So if you guys get a chance to go get it, I highly suggest it's so beautiful. The colors are amazing. Like Urban Decay really outdid themselves with it. You know, it strives away from the whole naked one, naked two and naked three palette. So if you're looking for something a little bit more bold and exotic with all these different colors, I suggest this is the palette for you. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in this first look, please stay watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends and family. Bye guys, happy holidays. To start off, I'm gonna prep my eye using Max Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot and I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. Next, I'm gonna go in with a color Damaged and a MAC 242 brush, and I'm gonna apply this to the lower lid. I don't wanna get the corner or the outer V, just the center, because we're gonna be putting different colors on those areas. Then with a big fluffy brush, I'm using MAC 224, I'm going to blend the color rewind right into my crease in a windshield wiper motion. You want to make sure that this is very well blended so you don't get any harsh lines on those eyes. Taking a pencil brush and the color smoke out, I'm going to start the process of the smoky eye. So first I'm going to apply the color on my outer V while slightly blending it out. Now that we've applied smoke out into the outer V, I'm gonna take a MAC 224 blending brush and start blending in all the colors together. You really wanna make sure that you get these colors well blended so you get that perfect smoky look. To highlight my brow bones, I'm gonna go in with a MAC 213 brush and the color Dope and highlight that area. This has easily become my new favorite highlight color. It is absolutely gorgeous. Next, I'm going to take Fix Plus and just apply a little bit on my MAC 242 brush. And then I'm going to go in with the color Damaged again, just applying it to the center of my eyelids to make the color more vibrant and bold. Then I'm going to go back in with MAC's 224 blending brush and the color Rewind and just blend this all nicely one last time together. Before applying my foundation, I always like to get a wipey and just clean out any fallout and create a perfectly angled line, unless you wanna keep the round eye, but for this look, I'm gonna go with the angled eye. Then I'm gonna take my pencil brush once again with a color smoke out and just apply some right underneath the bottom lashes. Next, I'm gonna take my 213 brush and the color dope and apply it to the inner corners of my eyes, just blending it in nicely with the color smoke out at the end. Using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Perversion, I'm gonna line my waterline and tight line. Next, I'm gonna use Maybelline's Jaw liner in the color black is black like always and I'm using a 209 brush instead of an angled brush to line my eyes. Now I'm pretty sure I've said this in previous videos but I've been loving the 209 brush better than an angled brush because the brush is a lot thinner which makes it easier to apply the jaw liner in a straight line. For mascara I'm just going to apply a few coats of the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. This step is optional since we are going to be using uh, falsies, but I find it better to apply mascara underneath the false lashes because it makes your eyelashes blend in better with the false ones. For falsies, I'm using the Ardell, and I'm pretty sure these are called Stunning, and I just got them at my local drugstore. 
Once you've popped them on, I always like to go back with the tweezer and just push them in a little bit more just to make sure that they're secure. For face primer, of course, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I absolutely love this stuff. It's amazing. For foundation, I'm going to be using MAC's Matchmaster Foundation since it is New Year's and we want to look our best. This foundation is full coverage and it absolutely blends in perfectly with my skin. I highly recommend it for any skin color. It only comes in three shades so you can't go wrong because the formula blends in with your natural skin color. To highlight, I'm going to be using MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW20. And I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes, just going right up to my temple. You don't want to forget about that area. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit to the top of my eyebrows to highlight that area as well. I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender to blend in the concealer underneath the eyes and on top of the eyebrows. You want to make sure that you're very gentle in this area. You do not want to have wrinkles in the future. And also remember to bring it up towards your temple because we will be highlighting underneath that with bronzer and blush and you want to make sure that the area is perfectly highlighted. To contour my cheeks, I'm going to be using the NARS Eda brush and Benefit Hula Bronzer and just apply a little bit right next to the ear, going in and out with it, blending it in very well. Then going up towards the forehead to sculpt that area and get that perfectly bronzed look. Then taking whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to swipe it right underneath my jaw to get it a little bit more accentuated. Then taking Max Breezy Blush, I'm just going to apply a little bit right on my cheeks and blending it in down towards the bronzed area. Before filling in my eyebrows, I'm just going to brush them out in the shape I want them. And then I'm going to go in with Anastasia's Brow Wiz in the color Burnett and just really define my eyebrows and the shape that I want them in. And then start filling them in towards the middle. Then I'm going to go in with MAC's Espresso Eyeshadow and I'm going to take this with an angled brush and just fill in my eyebrows and then going in with Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel to make sure that my eyebrows stay in place all night. To set my face, I'm going to be using Translucent Powder. I recently bought the NYX HD Photogenic Powder and I'm absolutely in love with it. Next, we're going to line our lips. I'm using MAC's Burgundy Lip Liner and I'm going to be very gentle with this. I don't want it to be a harsh line. I just really want it to blend in once I apply the lipstick. For lipstick, I'm using Diva by MAC and it is a beautiful burgundy burnt red shade and I've been using it for the past few months and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I feel like it goes with any shade of eyeshadow that you're currently wearing. Finally, I'm going to go right back to my eyelashes and coat the bottom eyelashes with some mascara. I completely forgot this step. I have no idea why, but there it is. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy holidays and happy new year. Bye guys.